Maybe this puppy was being trained specifically to help this woman. Yes, Keith, the owner reached out to us telling us her service dog is critical to ease her anxiety and she's fearing the worst knowing her dog could be in danger, but she also has enough reason to believe she's okay. At just five months old, Ryla has captured the hearts of many. The red golden retriever puppy already dedicated to helping others as a service dog in training. But right now, she's missing. It just really paralyzes you um, and you don't want to move. You don't want to do anything because you, you don't know what to do. Ryla's owner is Kelly Zelasnik. She says her world came to a standstill after a crash on the northbound side of I-75. It happened around 1.15 Monday morning near the Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard exit by mile marker 260 around the Mango community. A construction zone sidelines that stretch of the highway right by an overpass. The impact of the crash so severe, cracking Ryla's crate open, and that's when she escaped. That pain still doesn't go away, you know. You wake up in the middle of the night kind of thinking, you know, is she is she bedded down somewhere? Is she running somewhere? Does she need food? Does she need water? You know, does someone have her? Ryla was making strides as a service dog, her training specializing in the care needed to ease Zulasnik's severe anxiety. She would come up and do DPT, which is deep pressure therapy. We were holding out hope. I, I have a good gut feeling that she's out there. Earlier that day, Ryla was with her trainer, who has enough reason to believe she's okay. The cage was obliterated, but there was no dog to be found. No blood, no anything. So the dog is out there somewhere. I think she got, she rolled and she ran. But every hour that passes is painful. Zulasnik making a desperate plea to find her. She brings me immense joy, losing a pet. You know, it's not just a pet for me. That, that's my best friend. Holding on to hope tonight, and unfortunately, Ryla does not have a microchip, but she's wearing a light pink collar with a silver tag that has her contact information on it. And tonight, the owner asking on the community to help keep their eyes open. So if you find her, give them a call. In Tampa, Lenny Sue Paul, 8 on your side.